Hey you guys, so for those of you asking what is this new uh, update about the X-Carp, I'll just jump into it here. If we go into the X-Carp listing, you can kind of see what some of those things are in this video that plays in the back. You can see that right there, there was a Makita router installed in the machine. So if we do go in and start building yours, you can see what the options are. Or if you already have one, like it's probably the case for most of you in this group and watching this video, there is an upgrade kit here, but that's actually just the modular upgrade kit that was, you know, available. But also in this upgrade page, you can go to shop and x -Carp upgrades. We'll take you to the same place. We have the Makita spindle mount and a modular wasteboard. And those are the two new um, real changes to the upgrades that are now available. Now this modular wasteboard design uses a T-slot track in there as well as a different hole pattern that's at a 45 degree angle to the previous one. Now this listing, I think they're going to update it, but it doesn't specify on here, but this is for the 1000 millimeter X carve only right now. Now this design allows you to surface it all the way front to back. So in case you're doing tiling, you don't have that big old lip in the back that you would have previously. And the front has a little lip here as well to make sure that you don't uh, crash into the front corner clamps as you're surfacing this either. Now, I do see a slight concern in this in that when uh, you try and surface it, you can't actually reach the far edges. So you might still have, you know, a, an edge there. But in my opinion, that's actually better for tiling because it gives you a solid edge to slide your board against and have a nice solid lip there that is uh, perfectly parallel to your Y movement. And these are, like I said, modular. So if one of these does get damaged more than the other, you or like, let's say you're using this corner a lot and these two get damaged, you can take them out and replace them with a new one. And these are again, just MDF. So you could just go buy your own MDF, clamp it down and plane this pattern into it, possibly drill the holes as well using your own CNC before you uh, replace them. That's what I would suggest doing even before you start using them is uh, to Make your own replacements and just have a few in the shop ready to go. Now, the benefit of using the Makita routers is that they have a slower minimum RPM. And that really is going to allow you to do things like cutting acrylic and plastics where the faster RPM often leads to uh, insufficient chip size and melted plastic and, and, plastic and acrylic stuck all on the bit. So with that, you'll notice that this Makita router has a different button setup. And that's one of the things that I want to really touch on in this video. Um, if, you, if you've seen, there's often a post at least once or twice a week in another CNC group where they've been using the Makita router for a while now on the Shapoko and the Onefinity, and they tend to break right here because this is a cast housing and people try and use this push button along with the one wrench on the nut to tighten their collet down. Don't do that. Uh, it will potentially break the button and damage the entire housing, which is very close to one of the bearings for the router. And then you'll have a router that's uh, useless. So always make sure to use the two wrenches. There's one wrench that goes on this base here and another one down below. I will confirm that the wrenches on these are um, thin and tend to break. So if you have a different spanner wrench available, you might have to um, grind it or sand it down to make it fit in this slot. But I would suggest getting a, uh, a thicker wrench that doesn't bend and break when you try and clamp this down. They also mentioned that the Makita router collets would be available, so they are right here as well. Now all the existing upgrades and the modular wasteboard are on sale for 10% off right now, and that's supposed to last until Black Friday. Now going back over here to the x -Carp, if you did want to purchase a new x -Carp, it is going to include all of these upgrades. So I'm gonna go ahead through this, build your own kit. You'll notice it already has the Makita router. The standard is now all the upgrades, including the Z-axis, the lifts and stiffeners, the larger stepper motors on the X and Y and the wider belts. And in the announcement video, they did also discuss and show its new carving capabilities using that router that can allow you to do a higher chip load. It definitely would have taken a lot of uh, changes to the design to use a lead screw or ball screw setup so I'm not personally too surprised that that was not included here. Thank you guys for checking out this video. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to my channel. That way you don't miss out on any future videos. This channel is all about CNCs. And usually we focus on project tutorials. 
and sometimes new product release updates. Thanks again, you guys. Check out this video next.